SL 550 we are installing iSimple Bluetooth device. First thing we're going to do is to remove this side panel. Comes off. This side also comes off. And he's removing screws on the side. So these are the screws we're going to take off. There's three on each side, so six all together. It's not these short ones, rather long ones like this. There's one here, all the way far back. Another one here, right after the shifter. Then another one all the way on the top, right here. So they are all the same size, thin, inch and a half screws. Once you have it out, start from here, you lift it up. You're going to have to move the gear shifter to the back. Then the entire bezel comes off. That is to open this cup holder. We're going to remove this front face of it. Okay, to take this front cover off, there are tabs, locking tabs. One here, one here, one here. Six tabs. Start from the bottom, gradually pry that off. So otherwise it locks in like this. So you are pulling away from this locking tab. So once you have it out, you can push this back in. from the top. Once you have it out, it's easier if you just go on the top and try it off. Like that. Okay, let me put this back in. Okay, so you start from the bottom, you wiggle, pull the door to the back. As you can see, the entire center console comes off. All right, so once you have the center console out, there's two torque screws here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this air vent. To do so, on the top, there are small cutout underneath. You're going to pry that upward, like this, like that. There should be one on each side. Jim, do me a favor. I want you to hold it like that. Hold it like that. Yeah. I need light on this side, please. Jim, I need light like that, please. Uh, you don't have another flat one, Jim? No. Yeah. That should be fine. It should come out now. Where's the panel? Can you hold this one like this, Jim? Do not lose that. See if you can pop it out. You gotta go up higher, Jim. Jim, your, your locking pad, much higher, much higher. I want you to use the other hand to pull this air vent out. Jim. Pull out this shit out. Once you have these two tabs pulled out, that's gonna release the bottom. But in this model, we're gonna take this thing out, start it from the back, you're gonna pry this center speaker out. Once you have it out, there will be two torque screws right here, we're gonna remove it. Should two more screws right there holding on to that way back. Yeah. Very difficult to get in there. Okay. It's not very tight. Okay. Okay. So they are all the way far back. I don't know if you can see it. They held on two this way, the two long ones. Then the other should pop out. Hopefully it comes out after that. Yep, it's moving now. I thought it wasn't moving. Okay, so basically the screws were here, this way, into here. So the two torque screws, once you have them out, this entire air vent comes out and we should have more screws on the top side. So, uh, one screw here, one screw there holding on to the radio as well. So those two screws obviously you can only access through air vent. And to remove, some models, all you gotta do is push these tabs up, this thing comes out. So on this one, in order to get the radio out, we gotta remove the center speaker, start from the bottom, on the top, and this comes off. There are two screws going this way, holding on to these two screw holes right here for the air vent. And once you have them out, this entire air vent comes out. Then, there are two more screws holding on to here and here, and radio should be coming out after that. Okay, so once you have all four screws out, which is a two here, two on the top, this comes off. Some models, without the two screws on the top, there are locking tabs for the back here, and you push that locking tab out of the radio, and radio comes out. This particular model, you do have to remove the screws on the top here, and two screws on the bottom side. Okay, so I simple, we're going to put it behind this cup holder area, battery area. The lighter plug is the ignition, so we're going to hook that up as the ignition. And constant is each to find, there's a whole bunch of constants here. And the antenna on the back of the radio, there are two antenna, white antenna, I'll show you. This top one right here. Okay. So diversity antenna. Diversity meaning there are two antennas on this vehicle. One on the windshield, probably one on the roof. We don't care about the secondary one, we only care about the main one. So you put the antenna up the female side and male side in and out right here. So the one goes out to the radio, coming to the uh, eye simple. 
the other one coming back into the radio. So that's the antenna in and out here. So you can confirm the radio does work. And then we are putting this high simple Bluetooth module, so Bluetooth works through the radio station. Thank you.